Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today a mini snow globe shaker card using up some pattern paper scraps from Lawn Fawn's Reveal Wheel snow globe, mini snow globe add-on. I think it's meant to be for a shaker. I'm really not sure. Or is it double as a shaker? Or maybe this is the shaker part of it. Don't quote me on any of those things because I don't know. I don't have the packaging for it anymore. I just know it coordinates with the reveal wheel and the little mini snow globe dog and or air set. So I cut out a few of those from some heavyweight white cardstock. I would guess it's accent opaque 120 weight. I try to use that for my shaker well when I do them this way because it takes less sheets of paper to get the height that you need for a shaker card. I also cut a circle out finding a smaller than the outside circle but bigger than the inside circle for that shaker piece here. I was could have gone with a little bit tiny bigger circle but it is what it is it worked i did leave those sit while i went and milked cows and then i needed to find a piece of paper that was going to kind of coordinate with the coloring on that pattern paper i didn't have a great time finding something that really matched matchy matchy and so I ended up going super dark, and I love the look that it lended to the finished card. So I'm using some Tim Holtz paper stack here. It's like a linen, I want to say it's craft, I think it's craft stock on the back. These are probably his retired stuff, because I don't think they make them in the four and a half by, or four and a quarter by five and a half anymore. I'm sure I picked them up at Joann's or something on clearance because it's usually how I get those things in my stash. So I'm going to finish my shaker up before I get too far because I need it to dry. So I'm adding in some micro beads which are just clear and then some shaker shaker glitter I guess. I picked up the glitter mix from I think it's actually called snow mix from Walmart in the party decor section. I know crazy. It's probably my favorite glitter blend though because it's got big chunky stuff and a little bit smaller stuff but not too fine. It's got a nice iridescent mix. They also have a blue one I really like too. Anyways, I did die cut some of uh, some scraps of paper there with that little snow globe base and then of course the little black pour on my snow globe. And I'm trying to decide what I'm going to put on the inside of my shaker. I kind of thought maybe the penguin, but then I was like, you know, if I'm going to add the extra little snowflakes that I have and the snowflake paper, I thought the snowman was appropriate. So I just grabbed an orange marker for his little nose, and then I'm using, I want to say it was 190 in my Ahuhu old style markers, and then I ended up doing some tip to tip and blending that out a lot <laughs> to get um, a lighter, a light enough tone, but it matched my paper really well, the background paper. And so I do like how it ended up turning out, but just if it's too dark to start with, go back in with that zero blender pen and it will lighten it up and it will help blend it out quite a bit. I did do a little bit of tip to tip. That also helps to get that dark color to blend in to white a lot better. So one marker you get quite a bit of color variation to it. And so then I just added that onto the back of my little shaker there. And of course my shaker is fully enclosed. I was kind of planning on putting it magnet like making it into a magnet and then I forgot. I wonder if I can peel it off now and make it into a magnet. I don't know how good I glued it down. I guess we'll see. Oh, I glued it down good. Yeah, it ain't happening. Okay. Anyways, so I started laying it out. So I put that one on first, and then I'm trying to make my lines kind of straight and equidistant. I don't measure anything. I eyeball it all. So I was hoping for the best here. The finished card looked all right, so... 
Uh, right now, it looks a little kitty wampus there. But I think it's because my paper was crooked. Anyways, I did bring in a couple of different levels of thickness adhesive or foam dots. So these ones are probably a double thickness foam dot. They're fairly tall. And then I wanted to bring in something that was about half of that. So I'm bringing in some of that foam sheeting that I use, the double-sided stick foam sheets from Amazon. It's like an odd size. I want to say it's like six by eight and a half or six by nine. They're not like cut in half and you have a full card front size. They're they're odd. But I did those kind of here and there to kind of add in some dimension and some interest. So they're not all flat and they're not all the same raised height. So they have three different levels of height on them. Trying to vary them and make it so none of the ones that were next to each other had the same thickness level, I guess. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyways, so once I was done with that, I'm going to use those leftover snowflakes that I had cut out from my class. And I'm going to randomly place those kind of, kind of hanging off of the circles. Some of them are going to be on the circle. Of course, it's easier to have the ones on the circle if they're all the way on the circle, if it's on a raised up circle. So if they're hanging off the circle, a lot of times those were flat on my card front. And so this just kind of adds to that snowflake dot pattern paper, or the snowflake, snowflake dots in the pattern paper. I don't know, that didn't sound right. Anyways, so I will finish adding my little ones. I was trying to kind of place them so they're not all clustered together and kind of spread out a little bit here. And then... I needed a card base, so I'm going to add this onto a card base. But first I decided, you know, my equidistance was not very great on the top and the sides. So I do take this to the cutter, and I kind of trimmed off just a little bit off of each. I don't want to say each side. I think I've trimmed off some from the top, and then the one side was just a little bit shorter than the other. But then to equidistance it out. I had to trim, I think I trimmed some off of both of the sides. Anyways, so then I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the inside, and I went with Let It Snow. And then I'm going to also use some Distress Oxides in a coordinating color. I first grabbed the Speckled Egg, because I kind of think it kind of looks like Speckled Egg, but, like, it kind of looks like Salvage Patina, and so then I stamped it on both, and so it's kind of a mix of the two. I'm not sure. Indecision is key sometimes. Yeah. So I'm going to add that onto my cream colored cardstock base here. And then I'm going to shake it, you know, because we have to make sure that the shaker works. So I'm going to bring in that gold cardstock again, and I'm just bringing in this super old, I think it's a sidekick. What was it? A sidekick. I don't know. It's cool. Anyways, it has the little word snow in there. And so I was like, well, that would be cute to put the snow underneath the little snow globe. And it kind of coordinates with that gold plaque that's on the snow globe. And so, and then of course, because it's going to get raised up on the sides, I needed to raise it up in the middle. I cut out some of this because it was tedious to cut that little dot into teeny tiny thin strips to get it on the back of my letters. I probably could have die cut the word snow out a few times and just used the O and the W. That would have probably been smart. Well, sometimes, you know, I didn't think of it until after I had the foam on the O and the W. I was like, oh, I probably could have just cut that out and just used the no. Oh, I probably would have just used the N and the O. Anyways, it works this way. So I put that on the front there and then checked out the shaker again to make sure it was working, you know, as you have to do. And that is that completed card. But it, you know, I thought it turned out really cute. Simple, but kind of cute.
It'd be really cute as a magnet. Ugh. One of these days I'll remember. Anyways, this is take 552 because I can't talk today.